Hello and welcome back to the Monas. So um, I did a review on this quad bike a good two years ago now and this is the 2018 Can-Am Outlander Pro 450cc. Um, it's been a pretty reliable quad bike over the past couple of years. We did buy it, buy it brand new. Uh, well it was an ex demo model but thereabouts and it hasn't let us down. Um, it's a very comfortable Good bike, and I just thought I'd uh, let you know how we found it and uh, any problems we encountered during our ownership of it. Uh, so immediately you can see here, just like any other quad bike, you, there's a bit of rust forming on the exhaust. Um, it, it's not really, it's only surface rust. It's not like penetrating it yet, but it may cause a problem in the future. Um, there's also a little bit of damage on the front. That was after a gate slammed into the front of it. And actually that impact uh, disconnected the light bulb under there. So that's, that's the thing. Um, as you can see it's in like green and black colours. We've got these Carlisle, I think they're 21 inch tyres. Um, 25 inch tyres, sorry. On the nice rims. Um, it's, the towing capacity of it is about 590 kilograms. I mean, we pushed it a bit further than that and it seemed to, you know, be fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it's faultless really on towing. Uh, no issues on that side of things. Um, it's, yeah, 450cc. I believe there is a 510 or 570cc version, uh, which is a bit more expensive. But this is uh, this one's 38 horsepower, essentially, four stroke. Uh, its top speed is 45 miles per hour. Um, I believe it's limited, to be honest, because you know the sound you can hear when uh, it's like driving and it, it's not quite going there. Uh, I think I read up on it, and these keys, there is a the owner's key, but we don't know where it is. So we've got two of the workers' keys, I think they're called, um, which are limited to 45 miles per hour. That might be bollocks, it's just what I read on the internet, <laughs> the most untrustworthy uh, source of information. So I've given it a bit of a clean, and of course it, it's not great, it, there's mud everywhere, but it's, it's, you know, it's a working quad bike. On the back here we have a small compartment, where we just have all the dusty, uh, dusty toolkit. It's just like emergency bits and bobs, or the occasional can of coke and lunch. It's quite a nice deep uh, box, and it, it like it doesn't fling open or anything. As you can see, it's quite quite solid. The hinges are all immaculate, uh, and all that. And like this quad has been pretty beaten <laughs> over the years. Like we've taken it up rocky hillsides, off drops, uh, moving cattle with it. It I, no, it hasn't been stuck. This is the only quad bike we've had which hasn't been stuck. Um, which is saying something. You may also notice we have a flat on the back, uh, but uh, it's like a slow puncture. I'm about to fill it up with the compressor. Um, it's got the digital head uh, display. If I just turn the key, there you go. You can see we're in normal key. Yeah, normal key. Uh, then the fuel and the speedometer. Uh, turn it off to save battery. Like the battery's fine, really. Haven't had any issues with it. Haven't even needed to charge it up, change it, or bump start it. Um, it's got nine-inch suspension, so it is it is really comfortable to drive. Um, and like the the squishy seat, <laughs> very technical word there. That is so comfortable, which is useful because we have quite rocky ground. Um, which, you know, is really steep and you're going up and down and up and down. So you just want something nice to sit on as you move the castle. Um, and yeah, that helps with a selectable two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive system. It just, that makes things so much easier than like another gear, uh, like a stick, a gear stick. Um, like we've had on previous squad bikes. Uh, what else should I say? <laughs> The wheelbase is 59 inches, uh, the length is 91 inches, so 
but it's not it's not too shabby really. Uh, the width is about 46 inches and the height from bottom to top when the tyres are inflated is 52.5 inches. Um, yeah, okay, the starting price is, as, is at £6,699. Not sure what that is in dollars, maybe 7500 region, maybe? Uh, someone quote me on that. Um, yeah, so one downside we've had to owning this is the transmission. Because uh, you may notice it's quite worn around here. It's we had a lot of issue with uh, issues at start. Well, after the first year, should I say, with the selecting, and it was fixed. But now it's it's getting bad again. Like it's really, it's quite tough to get it in position sometimes. Not too sure why. It might even just be a bent lever. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but that's the only downside we've had with it. Um, I'm not sure if it's a common fault uh, but it's just something I thought I'd bring up if you're considering buying one of these. Um, so yeah, also these are ridiculously hot. These are warmers, you can turn them on uh, but they might burn your hands like especially on the throttle here where you can see the rubber's worn off a bit. Um, but they're great in, in the winter obviously but just, just be wary of that one. On the front here, we've got an Agri box. I believe it's actually built for this quad bike because it looks like, yeah, it's been mounted professionally. Oh, there's a bit of dust on the lens. Yeah, it's been mounted professionally and not zip tied like a milk crate like we usually have. And in here we have, oh, it's pretty minging. We have all sorts, so we've got a ratchet strap, a spray for the saddle and other bits and bobs like a Stanley knife and whatnot. So that's just added storage. I'll, I'll link that in the description if anyone's interested in buying one of those. They're, at, they're really robust, like, um, hasn't fallen off <laughs> yet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just solid. Uh, so of course here's a fuel cap. Dear, don't want to do that. So luckily, you know, lockdown and all this COVID stuff, petrol has been ridiculously cheap. So we've been uh, stocking up. <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> what else should I say? Um, so yeah, two years. It's not looking in too bad of a shape, minus uh, the injury at the front and a bit of a dodgy. I, I don't want to say dodgy because it is a good transmission. It's the selectors just a bit off. Um, also, there's a slight issue with the key. Uh, well, we had to take out the, the tab. I think it's a waterproof tab, which prevents like water getting in there. Because it actually like stuck, and we couldn't get the key in, so we had to take it off. And uh, now it works fine. Um, so yeah, I guess the next thing to do will be to turn it on. With one hand. Let's see how this goes. So, yeah. Some, like, I mean, sometimes it's fine, like, man, it, it's, it's perfectly fine, but other times it's a bit dodgy. So, uh, yeah, it's in reverse, uh, in park. Yeah. Um, here we go. Sounds like brand new. And, uh, yeah. So uh, I've just turned it off for now, and um, you have the DPS setting. So when you're reversing, you just hold that in, and you can keep going as fast as you want, pretty much. Um, it's not like you know, it's really handy because normally when you reverse, you might it might like stutter the engine. Like um, I don't know how to explain it. I'll, I'll, I'll put some stuff in the detail in the description about the DPS. But moving on, uh, here's the throttle. Obviously, no issues with that. It, it, it works fine, uh, you know, there's a bit of wear and tear. Uh, there's also a little bit of wear showing on here. It's not it's not mud, but it is actual bit of wear. But, uh, you know, no problems, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's meant, you know, it's sturdy. Um, but yeah, I'll show a bit of footage of me driving around. Um, 
you'll have to excuse a mullet, which I'm currently growing, because uh, all the barbers are shut. But uh, yeah, that's generally a reasonable, in-depth um, review of it. After two years, I mean, it, there's only so much to say because it is a really good quad bike, very reliable. And if it does go wrong, like the transmission, we had a guy out the next day fixing it. Um, so yeah, very reliable, afford well, reasonably affordable. A bit more expensive than, I don't know, Honda and Yamaha, but it, yeah, I'd highly recommend. And before I forget, on your side here, if I can open it, I don't think this has ever been opened, but there's a 12 volt cigarette port for your sat nav, <laughs> I guess, or something like that. Or your your beer cooler, um, but yeah, generally nothing else to comment. Um, but if you're wondering, the tire we got a puncture, I believe that was a nail. It, you know, it's it's just one of those, and we've never we haven't got around to changing it because generally it, it's fine for a day. Like we fill it up in a day and it's fine throughout the day and the next day, and we do it then we fill it up. What you, you know, you get it. Um, so that, and the light, we're going to get that fixed at some point. <laughs> I mean, it's summer, we don't really need the lights. Um, so yeah, the rear uh, back brake works fine. The brakes are all in really good shape. Um, there was a, quite a bit of mud build up under here. Um, like, we do wash it maybe once every two weeks or something, but it was quite surprising how much like mud was built up in there. Um, probably down to us not cleaning it as often. But uh, yeah, maybe just something to watch out for. But underneath, it's generally like in good shape. The bash plate's all immaculate. There's a bit of scratching and rust. Well, surface rust here and there, but there's nothing major. <laughs> like in Navara pickups which snap in half, there's nothing like that on here um, as you'd expect for a two year old motor uh, quad bike even but yeah the radiator's all fine, there's a bit of junk in it but it is all it is um, so yeah I think that's all I can say really um, I'll add some footage in after this clip of me just driving it around going up some rocky terrain well a rocky track should I say uh, maybe on some elevations, uh, and yeah, maybe even tow a trailer, Pff, I'll, I'll see what we have about, uh, but yeah, hope you just enjoyed this little update of the can -Am Outlander Pro, um, uh, yeah, I'll link the previous, like the original review in the description and on the end screen, uh, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video, it helps, and if you've been a fan of us for a, a while, that sounds really queer, but you know, all those fans, um, we need to do a 2,000 subscriber video at some point. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a bit of content coming to the channel. So after the past few weeks, we've been renovating all these machines, and I've got a sandblasting, painting, basically a whole bloody rebuild of a JCB telehandler coming. Like, I did like a time lapse uh, of that. And also doing some work on the glamping pod series. It's getting there slowly. We're having the flooring fitted tomorrow. Uh, pff, it's all, you know, it's all fine and dandy. Hopefully get that out in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be bringing some more reviews of the tractors and whatnot. But yep, hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy me driving it round and Try not to roll it over. Alright, cheers.